Hello, welcome to this edition of UTA Spotlight. I'm Chris Whetstone. In this edition, we will talk about academic integrity, the Nancy Baker Scholarship, and the Lunar Eclipse event at the Planetarium. Fall has finally arrived, and that means it's testing season. Sean Fuller has more on the story. Studying for a test is essential to making a good grade, but if you arrive on the day of the exam unprepared, you may consider alternative means. While cheating may seem harmless, some students realize cutting corners can have dire consequences. Uh, academic integrity is very important in our major because um, we're going to be building airplanes, bridges, stuff that people are going to fly on, and if we cheat on our exams and don't know what we're talking about, people will simply die. Others think the issue isn't black and white, but acknowledge the gray area can bleed into your identity. I would say an interesting fact about that is something that you want to feel unique to you, you probably wouldn't cheat on because being you know, plagiarized of other people's words, it lowers your uniqueness. While opinions among students vary, faculty at UTA all share the same stance. That is why the honor code is concluded in every syllabus and can be found on UTA's website. Students are routinely exposed to it and it clearly defines the staff's expectations. I think that's the case with syllabi in, in general. It's sort of putting out in stone, this is what we expect of you, and in case they ever you know, come back and say, hey, I didn't know, yes you did. Within the University Center, the Office of Community Standards reinforces this mentality by taking examples of misconduct and teaching faculty members how to prevent them. You know, I can identify issues that are going on maybe with one particular college or department and then relay that to others where they may not have seen it themselves, but that it's a way to kind of raise the bar on how to address this across the board. Students often take cheating lightly because it can occur in an instant, but is often the result of a much larger issue. I don't believe that those were the first bad decisions they ever made, that decision making is it's a habit. Um, and it's something that you need, really need to practice to um, be able to make better decisions. And, uh, you know, academic integrity is part of that. So to avoid this moral dilemma in the future, you will need to make better choices now. Sean Fuller, UTA News. If you would like tips on how to improve your study habits, stop by the Office of Community Standards in the basement of the UC. The UTA Planetarium hosted an event to watch the lunar eclipse on Sunday. Landon Hearn has more on the story. The UTA Planetarium hosted hundreds of students and families from across the area during their lunar observation event Sunday night. Though the eclipse only lasted an hour of the night, the events available to participate in were widely varied. Today we're out uh, observing the uh, total lunar eclipse. Uh, we'll be here until midnight tonight um, with discounted planetarium shows, free lectures, and observations of the moon. The event also featured information sessions and interactive demonstrations focused on the moon, courtesy of volunteer advocates from the National Space Society of North Texas. Just make sure you got some good light. Shine it down the map. Hold this right up to your eye. Before and after the eclipse, guest lecturer Ken Ruffin spoke to crowds of attendees about the interesting qualities of the moon. Most people here have probably been on road trips out to what would be the edge of the moon from here in Dallas. So we're going to be about where that crater is right there. And Dallas was a crater in the TV movie Asteroid. When the sun had sufficiently set, guests began to go up onto the third floor observation deck in order to get a better look at the lunar rarity. We're going to see over the next couple of hours, the moon is going to slowly turn kind of a bloody red color. Uh, this is due to um, the Earth passing, or excuse me, the moon passing behind Earth's shadow. So as sunlight passes through Earth's atmosphere, it kind of refracts it turning red, just like a sunset. And that red light is actually uh, being projected onto the surface of the moon and reflected back to us. This weekend's blood moon was the last in a series of four lunar eclipses, but with the next super blood moon not predicted until the year 2033, this night is sure to be one to remember. For UTA News, I'm Landon Hearn. For more info on planetarium events, you can visit their website, uta.edu planetarium. 
UTA Athletics Department recently announced a scholarship for the women's golf program that will begin competition in the 2017-2018 school year. Reginald by the Tula has more on the story. UT Arlington's women's golf team is already receiving support. The Nancy Baker Memorial Scholarship for the soon coming program was recently established by UTA Athletics Director Jim Baker. I wanted to honor my wife and uh, I didn't think there would be a better fit, a better fitting place than with the women's golf program. Baker's late wife Nancy passed away in December of last year after a battle with cancer. Nancy may not have played golf herself, but she loved being around the golf course and she went to a lot of the golf tournaments here at UTA with me and, and followed the team and got to know the kids a little bit and uh, so I just felt that it just, uh, it just felt right. Head golf coach Stuart Dean praised the establishment of the scholarship by Baker. It's a testament to you know, how much he cares about the athletic department in general. The student athlete who receives the scholarship will have to tout a high GPA, a 3.5 for student athletes who are new to UTA or a 3.0 for those who are returning. They'll also have to display an interest, if not a love, for education, just like Nancy. Education was her life. Her dad was a professor at Ohio State. Um, and uh, her sister is a teacher, and uh, her sister-in-law is a teacher, and you know, so she, she, loved, she loved education. What that means is that through this scholarship and the student athletes it enables, Nancy's legacy will live on at UTA. And for Jim Baker? Um, you know, it means a lot. Reginald Datatula, UTA News. The Baker family has committed a lead gift of $25,000 towards the scholarship. If you'd like to help grow the endowment fund, please visit utabavs.com. Do that one one more time. The Baker family has committed a lead gift of $25,000 towards the scholarship. If you'd like to help grow the endowment fund, please visit utabavs.com. Thank you for watching this edition of UTA Spotlight. Be sure to tune in next week. I'm Chris Whetstone.